Welcome to my channel and my name is Chirag. Today we are going to discuss a very interesting topic which is a self healing in Selenium web driver. So what is a uh, self healing? We will discuss this and how we can achieve by using a open source project. So self healing is uh, the term which means that when the we uh, to identify any text field to identify any uh, button we need to identify the web element and if web element changes in upcoming build then automatically my scripts identify a new web element this concept is a self healing so we do not write any means we do not go to manually and identify the change element so let me show you by creating the paint so you can see let me just increase the size of this so to identify any this is my page right and this is a text field first name last name and this is a submit button right so let me write first name first name field this is a last name field and this is a button which is a submit button so what to do for selenium selenium we need to identify this uh, x path or web element suppose it is a id we we write the uh, we write uh, our test script that uh, this is a id so i identify the um, by this id so this is a id is equal to first and this is uh, for this let me show this is the web element here here is a web element where which i have mentioned on my repository web element repository this uh, i identify by id and this is i'm identify by x path suppose i write this is input at the rate name q last and this is a submit button for this i ident i have identify any button so let me this has a name is equal to okay okay so what i have mentioned i i write a, a selenium test script and i give these web elements to identify the uh, this text fields and button so this is my build one build one so uh, it is working fine i deploy on jenkins and everything is working fine but uh, build 3 comes uh, into a qa environment and it procs uh, some um, you make a uh, last name so it uh, developers change the uh, change the uh, this last name last is equal to last name so in build 2 what happened let me write this way so this is our build 2 build 2 developer change the this name is equal to last name right so here uh, what is dev team change name to name from 
last to last name now what happened my test scripts got filled because i identify a x path which has a name is equal to last but now dev team give a name is equal to last name so this my test script uh, got filled now at this condition what is i have to go to a uh, debug mode i identify okay this web element is changed now i have to write a new x path to support this so the x path which i have to return like this name is equal to last name and then i have to change into my object repository then my task script will work but self healing means you do not need to write the x path again at the run time it will identify okay this last uh, this field uh, attribute has been changed so it will generate a new web element for you so this is the self healing so this is the self healing currently we have to manually go and change the elements we changed but in by using this open source project we do not do anything uh, automatically it identify a new web element for you right so this is the way so this some problems and this some goal achieves so the problem statement is an unstable automate end to end test in ci right 40% of team effort spent to fix automation issues rather than test product and add new test so what i talked that uh, in uh, this video that 40% uh, of team effort change the web elements change the locators which uh, uh, dev team deploy a new build and that change so we have to fix those and web application you know that web application change update regularly so which lead to locator change so it is a common uh common headache for uh, testing team that they have to maintain the x path or web element which locators has been changed and after using this uh, self filling concept project what we achieve improve end to end automated test uh, stability reduce amount of test case failure because at the run time we, we if any locator has been changed but in the run time we we will get a new locator so my test case failed has been decreased and it reduce maintenance effort so because it is uh, at the run time it changes all the things it maintains the script so it reduce the maintenance effort and more time to cover new functionality so if the Uh, automation tester uh, has less uh, give less time in maintenance effort so it will uh, create a new functionality and it uh, will automate new functionality so this is the concept of self healing so how we can do this self healing i will give a demo right so what is this so this is the one line of code you need to implement in your framework so this is the demo now i am giving the demo so what i do i just open the google chrome let me open a google chrome and let me open this so i will open a google chrome then in uh, Uh, i identify this uh, driver dot find animal means i search uh, google a test i will search so i give the this queue so let me run this and it will pass because it is a valid locator so let me yes so it has been passed so let me show you so you can see this it has been passed because if i inspect 
the web element here so you can see the name is q right suppose in next uh, build that the value of q has been changed so how it automatically create a new web element that we have to see in this demo so let me again open this and in this i will run this uh, in a debug and show you how it will work i will change this uh, search field locator give a different value and then it automatically just change so this my debug point is stopped here so let me open this and open inspect and here you can see we have a queue so let me change this queue to right okay now what i am doing i am changing my locator so i in this i for demo purpose i am just uh, hard coding this but in real scenario this uh, elements has this attribute value has been changed by the developer and they deploy a new build here so let me open eclipse here and just run this and again open so you can see it identified it identified a uh, element and write the test so you can see that there is a name right but in my this uh, my test script i mentioned name is q but here the name is right but it is work successfully so this is the self healing so how we can configure this self healing our project how we can do we will see in upcoming video so guys thank you for watching this video bye bye take care